So here's my turtle tessellation right here. So I'm going to show you how to do an animal tessellation for this next part. So if you do want to do an animal one, you have to think about what shapes you're cutting up. So on this one, you can see I did this arch shape first as the top of the turtle shell, which ended up down here at the bottom. And then I took, um, I wanted to have a head coming out from the turtle shell, so I cut it out from this side and then added it on to this side. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do an elephant for this one. It's kind of a simpler one. So I'm going to mark it A, A, B, B, just so I keep my pieces straight. Um, and I'm going to start with the side, I think, because I want to have an elephant trunk. And try to keep in mind um, that when you're doing your designs, the more kind of twisty and curly and complicated they are, you do have to trace them a ton of times. So it does help to do kind of simpler shapes just so you don't have to trace tiny, tiny little pieces. All right, so there's my elephant's trunk. And that's going to go over to the B side. And I'm going to line that up carefully. And then I feel like the elephant needs an ear, like a spot for his ear. So on the bottom here, I'm going to draw an arch shape like that to be the top of the elephant's head. Like that. Okay, so there's my A shape going up to my A side. And I'm going to line that up as carefully as I can and stick that down. Okay, so again, just like we did with the last video, I'm going to use my scrap paper. I'm going to line up to this bottom corner to start. Um, I think I'll line the trunk right up and line the bottom right up. And then I'll take my Sharpie. If you prefer to do this with pencil first, of course, that's a good idea. Another trick that I forgot to mention in the last video is you can take a small piece of tape and you can stick this down onto the back like this. That way you can stick this down, trace it, and then you can lift it and move it and it won't um, slide around on you when you're trying to trace. Okay, so there's the first side. I'm going to go around to the back and then up to this back side. And don't forget the bottom. Okay, so there's my first elephant shape. Lift it and slide it. And you can see this is going to line right up with the piece next to it. And then trace around this. And you can just keep going from there and lift it. And then you can see that these pieces are going to fit right on top like that. You're going to keep going this way, but I'll kind of go up here just so you can see where we're headed. I'm going to go right around this trunk again. And then once you have a few started, here we go. And that one's going to go right there. Just stick with that real quick just so you can kind of see where it's going to go. You can start to think about adding things like, okay, where's my elephant's eye going to be? Where's his ear going to be? Maybe his ear kind of goes like that. And he's got his little eyeball right here. And he's got his little elephant smile. And I don't know what an elephant trunks look like like that so there's kind of my little elephant so you can repeat that face over and over all over the pattern so just like this so you can see this turtle right here i've got this little turtle's face i have to get drawn in and then i have to add the turtle shell to this guy and turtle feet and do the decorations on the shell as well and then you can color them in. This one, obviously, I colored in various different, um, each turtle got a different color. Um, and I used um, 
different shades of colored pencil for the pattern on the shelf. So I'd love to see what you guys come up with for your tessellations. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I can help you through it. Um, and have fun making your tessellations.